It is the um the Loch Ness monster. I want to make some soup. I am the Loch Ness monster and I want to make soup. I want to dip you some soup, man. So isn't this adorable? It is a soup ladle that has its own little legs to hold itself up. I think it's so adorable. It's really, really lightweight. I mean, it's really, really lightweight. So it's made out of a thin plastic. The inside, as you can see, has a coating. But just on the inside of the ladle, and what that is for is so that stuff doesn't stick. So they've put that special coating on the inside of just the ladle part. And the rest of it all is like a matte finish. But it's so cute. Look at it. Let's see. I'll put him over here at the stove so you can see his face better. There he is very adorable so you that's a piece of plastic right there so you have your soup going your pots boiling let me get a pot so we can be realistic I love my pots and pans by the way what do I love about these pots that right there all my pots and pans have a little uh, pour spout such a lifesaver. So you make soup, then you dish out your soup, and well, you don't just throw it down, but he stands up. So that's nice. You don't have to lean it anywhere because why? He stands up. Seriously adorable. So if you have children, your kids are going to love it. I mean, adults love this kind of stuff too because I'm actually an adult. And I love it. I've seen it several times and I was like, oh, I want one. And I finally got one. So, I think it looks more like a Loch Ness Monster, but it could be like a Brontosaurus. I think that's what they were called. A long neck. I don't know. But he reminds me, like, if I was going to be at the Crazy Lake where Loch Ness Monsters live, this is what I would see. The Loch Ness Monster. So, seriously adorable. He's like a little conversation starter. Your kids will be like so stoked. They'll be like, Mom, what is that? And you'll be like, hey, that's our soup ladle. He's going to watch you eat all your soup. Well, you don't just have to use it for soup, too. You know what I mean. Any kind of liquids, your gravies, whatever. And then stand them up. Sorry. So, extremely cute. And when you're not using him, you can, like, put him places as decoration. Like here, he could be up on top of my little oven that I use. There he is. Like, you don't have to put it away. He could just become a part of your life. Like... I hate it when I have something that I really like and then I got to put it away and nobody's going to see it. But if he's out and about, like people are going to see it. Depending on how you live your life, look at how messy my table is. It's because I don't live down here right now. I'm upstairs with my parents. So my table is where I throw all my mail and Amazon. But I mean, you could even have him sitting at your table depending on how your life is set up. You know, um, I just, I wouldn't put them away. I would say that mine is either going to be here by my juicer. It's my coffee thing, my butter dish. This, I have, was making a cheese. I was going to make a cheese platter for dinner one day, and I took that out to make a cheese platter. But, so, you want to put him someplace that he won't be hiding. You know, so um, he could have a home there. I actually really like the way he looked here. 
I thought that was pretty adorable up there. The only thing is, is when I open my cabinets, he's going to fall. But I'm definitely not putting that away because, you know, I want him to be seen. I want, I want my friends to be like, oh my god, that's so adorable. And I can't wait. My son is going to be like flipped out over this because this is the kind of stuff, you know, girls are not the only ones that enjoy cute things. Boys like cute, adorable things too. So when my son sees this, he's going to be in love. And I think I could actually fool my dog into thinking that it's alive. Let's see if I can scare my dog. Let's go. He's, uh, he's a little weird, the dog that is, not me. Hi, bud. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Hmm? 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 Hey, what is that? Bud? Is he coming to get you? Uh-oh. He's going to get you. Myself in the, in the way. <laughs> he looks so scared. Oh, did you thinking about biting me? Did you see his little lip curl up? He was thinking about biting him. Hello. I love you. I won't hurt you. No worries, okay? Don't you be scared. See, I'm nice. That won't bite me and I won't bite you. It's okay, see? Okay, bye. I'm going to the sink now because you touched me. Now I need a bubble bath. I want to see. Did you see his lip curl up like he was going to bite it? He is so easily scared. He's, well, he's afraid of his own shadow, poor little thing. And it's probably not nice that I tease him, but sometimes I just think it's hilarious. Anyway, this uh, looks like it holds... Let me see how much it holds. It looks like about a half a cup. Let's see how much water it holds. I will get a half a cup. And I will put that... Oops, and I spilled it. So it does not even hold a half a cup. So... The way to figure that one out is, this is a fourth, this is a third. I don't think it's going to hold a third, but, oh, so it holds a third cup of liquid. It's kind of good to know if you're doing something that you need to know, dirty dishes, you know, exactly how much you're putting into somebody's bowl. Uh, not everybody has to deal with that kind of thing, but sometimes, uh, you know, depending on people's diets and health, you have to know exactly. So that's one, you, you can put one third cup of liquid inside the Loch Ness Monster ladle. So I was wondering if he floated. Um, I think it was a different commercial that I saw with a ladle that was floating. I don't think it was this one. But I'm going to do a double check just to make sure that I had saw a... No, it's not weighted. It would have to be weighted. And that doesn't do it. I saw a ladle that floated. Like, it was like on top of the water. He does not do that. So, but very, very adorable. And I am always, always for things that can be used dual purpose. So, he has a decoration. All my clean dishes over there. I think, I think I'll put him here because I know my son will see him there because his tea and his honey are in this cabinet. So I am 100% sure he will be in that cabinet. So.
so I'm going to take the noodle off so it definitely sees it. So there he is. That is the soup ladle. He is, I think he looks like a Loch Ness, uh, but he is a dinosaur and adorable with his little leggies. Very cute. And holds one third cup. So I don't think, you know, I'm always, you know, I was looking to see if, uh, if uh, it was weighted in any way, but it's not. So it is a very thin plastic, but it seems sturdy. Like, you know, it doesn't seem like, it doesn't seem like it's not so flimsy that if this is, this is not going to bend, but it is very light, but it's not, it's not that light. Alrighty, I will put the link to this product down below. I think they may have other colors, uh, maybe a set, I don't know, I'd have to look. I saw once that there was a set of them, different sizes, like nesting into each other. I don't know if this is that company or not, or if they have other colors, I have to go and look, but um, yes, it's extremely Wow. I live in the basement, and uh, it is very rare that sunlight actually comes in. And look at that. We've got some serious sunlight today. Uh, that is... Alright, you're going to lose me now. I'm just going to rest. <laughs> That's really nice. No, yeah, we really... Very rarely uh, does sunlight come in. I want to make sure I lock this before I finish up. My son was out. There was so much wind that it blew like a boatload of sticks down. So he was outside picking up sticks. Anyway, I'll put the information for our little friends uh, down below. Here he's coming again. Stop kissing me. Stop it! We need a moment alone. I love you. <gasps> My dog hurt me. I love you. I love you. My dogs give me the evil eye. He's a very jealous little boy. Anyway, uh, now that you've seen the fact that I'm a wacko, I will put the link to this little guy down below. You're getting sleepy. Sleepy. You want me. You know you want me. Take me home with you. <laughs> anyway, I'll put their link down below. If they have a storefront page with more goodies, uh, I will put that there. I just want to say, I think this came from China. Could have been Japan. But I want to say that the quality of products that I have been getting coming in from China have been awesome. Now, several years ago, the quality was not so good, and I was very disappointed. So, I am very happy with the quality of the products that I've been getting lately. Starting, like, this is one of them. I got um, a, a dish strainer that looks like a leaf. Uh, I was sure that it was going to be a load of crap when I got it, but awesome, very happy. Uh, so it seems like the quality of the Chinese merchandise has gone up, and I like that because I don't mind waiting a little extra time if it's going to come as a good quality product. So if it takes 20 days to get here, and it was a good price and it's good quality I'm I'm okay with that so and I just wanted to say that this company this is I would say this is good quality it's not gonna bend it is light but I don't think I have mine anymore I was gonna say my other ladle was probably the same as this but it had a hole you know to hang something but um Yes, so I just wanted to say that uh, I've been really pleased with the quality 
of products that have been coming to me from over in China. And another thing is that they are every single company that I have worked with or through or whatever you want to call it, they are so nice. Um, no, I'm not saying that Americans and other countries, they're not nice, but when it just seems that they are noticeably nice. So that's not a bad thing. You know, I have been very fortunate, lucky, whatever you want to call it, that I would say that 99% of the companies that I've showed you videos from, they've been awesome human beings. I would say that I had one, I'm not going to say who it was, in the past year, out of all those products, and it's been over 100, could be close to two, maybe even three, I don't know, it's been a blur. Um, only one company was just totally like a, a, a what? Like wow kind of company, like oh my goodness. So, I know I talk a lot, but you know what? It's because I don't get to talk very much on a regular basis because I'm alone so much. So, just me and my dog. I mean, I have my parents, but they're old. They're 80, almost 82 and 80, you know. So then I get talking, and even though you're not really here, I'm still talking. I think that means I'm crazy, but it's actually good for my brain to talk, so I do it. Alrighty, I'll put their info below. Please subscribe to my channel. I am hoping to get started back up on my 3D pen art. Uh, I've just been so busy, but I have so much filament, I am like stoked. I should just bring it upstairs where I'm living and sit at the table and start doing stuff. I need to make time for me. So, anyway, I look forward to learning that more and doing that with you. And I hope that you guys will pick up a pen and start doing it yourselves too. Alright, I'm going to go again. Goodbye. Let's go check on the Loch Ness Monster. See what how he looks like in his habitat.